fucking idiot ass white liberal women running the shit now. This shit is over, man. It's a wrap. No, nah, this this is this is like uh if there's a train and the and the engine like derails and the train just keeps on going, it's just gonna slowly halt to a stop, you know. It's gonna yeah. go on for a little while and then it's just gonna stop and everybody's gonna go their separate ways. Because these people weren't hired because they're good at shit. They were hired because they her like she said, 50-50 model, 50% women and 50. If she hired the best people for her company, it would be a substantial amount of white men in there. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, maybe some POCs and some white women too. Don't get me wrong. But I don't even see any tigers. Yeah, tigers. Yeah, tigers. Probably only like, well, they're the model minority. It's probably like only the like other like Patels and shit like that. Um, Salute to Caleb. He says, reality is a cruel mistress to live. (laughs) Yeah, man. (laughs) Facts. I wonder if yeah, I wonder if this incident I wonder if this incident like woke up anybody to reality if it if they took the red pill for this incident that not was, one you know, that per, was. I, I I guarantee you this didn't here's the thing we'll never know because they'll never admit us they'll never give us these type liberals they'll never give us satisfaction like they'll just move like they all might like move to like a suburb or something and then they like all might like you know, take all extra safety precautions. Like they might walk to to their cars at night in groups, or you know, Uber, or have a security guard in place. But they'll never tell us, like, yo, this. Is, you know what I'm saying? They'll just do it, yeah, and keep publicly being woke. That she and co-founder Sherrod Davis have done just that. Papa was full of life and energy. It was almost like she couldn't wait to get up every day to work with Sherrod and her team and contribute to this ecosystem by creating something special in and for Baltimore. I was amazed at how much effort she put in. In those early mornings, she would often record time-lapse videos of the sunrise and the Baltimore skyline and comment on how beautiful this city is and how much she enjoyed watching it come to life. The final thing I'd like to share is an example of who Pava was and the impact that she had on our tech community and her legacy in Baltimore. This past Thursday, she joined Matt Hansen as a guest speaker for Pax Momentum's most recent cohort of entrepreneurs. Here's what he had to say about her remarks. Papa joined our Zoom call Thursday night. We- All right, so you get it, man. She's um, she's a she's a loved. She was loved, man. Um, man, I know. can I can just imagine like her last moments and her last thoughts. You must have been like, "Holy shit!" All those stereotypes that I was trying to fight against. <laughs> that shit is true. Fuck. Yo. God. I wonder if they think that I've always wondered what do liberals think they like as the sun man, like he's six four, um, you know, three hundred pounds, and she died from blunt force trauma to the head. So he obviously just was bashing her head. Like I wonder if she was like what she was thinking, like, yeah, I always wondered that in those last moments. So this is her post. This is a post she made. Um let me, let me let me let me um get it on the screen. One of I don't know if this is one of her last posts. This this is a post that's coming up now to, from from you know that when she was alive. EcoMap Technologies stands against systematic systemic racism, bigotry, and a police state that criminalizes black bodies. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> she's making it really hard for me to uh, <laughs> grieve her death, man. She's making it really hard. Well, hold on, I mean, man. I'm Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you like this. I feel bad for her because I know sun turds will fucking um, lie to white people and make them like, like a lot of white people don't know that black people are full of fucking shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like, they don't know. They think that, like, think about it. When George Floyd happened, think about the videos we watched the other day, that talk video. Did you see the talk video we watched the other day? The talk. That's you mean the, 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 the son families to their kids? Yeah. Their kids? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, so. horse shit. That's all lies and bullshit. Okay? It's all horse caca. I mean, if I can see okay. through it. Why the hell can't they see through? I don't understand. Like, do they just not? Do they have that much of a narcissistic personality that they think that they do have so much power against some people? Listen, could be the that. woman wanted to be a doctor, so I'm you got I'm looking at it holistically. She wanted to be a doctor, she came to Baltimore to be a doctor. You saw the video we did about how many lives those doctors save. Did you see the video I did maybe a few five five months ago about the trauma center? And like literally, like yeah. it would be a genocide. Exhausting. Yeah, it would be a genocide if it wasn't for those doctors in Baltimore. Like Thousand black people would die every year instead of like 350 from gunshot wounds. They save so many black lives. So she was coming there to be a doctor. So she's got a good heart. But then she saw this shit and she was like, oh, well, I, let me help. She's so talented that she could fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, fuck that. I'm going to come over here. And then she went over there. It was the star of stars in their little fucking tech world. She jumped yeah, that, in their shit and rose to the top and became the fucking leader. Yeah, I mean, what she did was kind of like the Bo Jackson of of, of academia. <laughs> exactly. She went from one sport to the next and excelled in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she just came over to their shit and just they they all like followed her. She's the leader and shit. And yo, I think she. I I really think this was a good person. I'm not going to sit here and think. I, I don't like a lot of liberals in their paternalistic ways. I don't like that. But I'm just looking at her from a, a person. She came to a shithole city to be a doctor to help save fucking lives. She saw that the niggas, maybe she went to a function, a gala, and just was like, oh, my God, they can't get out of their way. Like, you know, because, you know, like the, there's all these tech, all these, you know, the, 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 the black educated class in Baltimore. She's like, oh my God, they have so many educated blacks here, but they just can't fucking get right. Let me come over here and show them how to do it. And she went over there, showed them how to do it. And then. <laughs> it like yeah, but like when you read a post like this, let's say you read a post like this and this glider chick was still alive, posting, constantly posting stuff like this. I mean, a lot of people on this panel, including myself, would be like, man, let this bitch get carjacked one time. Oh, you yeah. Know? I'm glad I saw this after she died and not before she died, because I would have said the same thing you said. I'd have been like, man, I can't wait till this bitch gets bopped upside her head by some 6'4", 305-pound son man who just got out of jail early for fucking raping somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but and, you know, <laughs> and you know damn well if this, if this dude got 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 killed by a cop who was resisting arrest. She'd be out in the streets with justice oh, for justice for uh uh whatever his name is. Billings Lee like, Love. Nobody, Lee. yeah, but nobody. I didn't see one sign or poster in that crowd that said justice for Pava. Not one. Nope. And they haven't called him yet. Nothing. They're not. They're not protesting. That was a quiet. They were playing fucking harps and shit and fucking quiet. There was no. Fucking emotion. They didn't fucking. They didn't even fucking loot the goddamn. Um, fucking. They didn't even loot. Uh, Baskin Robbins. Coffee. Old they didn't loot anything. 
Yeah. No, no one's gonna take down a statue for her, or Nothing. build one, or build one. They, if they didn't loot a Barnes and Noble, that they would have looted a Barnes and Noble. Exactly. Salute to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripman, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Salute to Chris G. Says I got five on it. LOL. Salute to all the donators to Ock. I love his lives. Press one. L-F-F-A-O. Yeah, man. Salute to all you guys, man. All the Hall of Famers, all the Buddy Hall of Famers, all the people that's, you know, on their way to Hall of Fame status, man. I really appreciate all you guys, man. Uh, that's why we come here every night. And we, co we cover these stories that no one covers. Ain't nobody covering this in depth. Everybody said, "Oh yeah, that's fucked up," and then they moved on. Go ahead. Yeah, and it, it, and if the roles were reversed, the races were reversed, there will be so much an outcry. Of people that are talking right now, all the glide, like the entire glider nation, will be indicted on this. It's all of no. your guys' fault. We talked about this last night, man. We talked about this last night. If it was equal. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about some fucking boom sheet that's selling fucking bundles out of her trunk. I'm talking about the equivalent, a star in the tech industry, 30 for 30 on the Forbes list. I mean, not 30 for 30, the, the top 30, whatever they call that shit, on the 30 under 30, yeah, 30 under 30 on the Forbes list, because she was only 26, was a was gonna be a doctor and it just switched gears and it is tech industry and became a star. A black woman like that? Listen, man, if a black woman like that, if a white guy fucking cut her in front of her in line at a Starbucks, we would have to have a national conversation on race. Press one. So she goes on to say, we stand in support of the Black Lives Matter movement now and always. We commit to being anti-racist in all aspects of what we do, from the team members we hire to the customers we serve. Well, actually, this is a blind spot for her. She's actually being racist by excluding white men. She's actually being racist by excluding, excluding white men. But whatever. We are proud to have a team that is over 30% black and we commit to improving diverse representation in our company. In addition to donations, we will commit our community service hours to organizations that promote and support black entrepreneurship. Man. The B is always capitalized. Yeah. Yeah, and the W is going to be, yeah. The W is lowercase, man. I, I promise you she wrote white, it will be lowercase. Um. Oh. We are a small and young company, and we are still committing to taking action. We encourage all other startups to speak out and do the same. So she's with the shits, man. Like, like she's not just with the shits. She is literally, like, she. <laughs> yeah, man, my sympathy bar went from about 95%. After reading that, it went to about 45%. I just, I just, I just can't do it, man. <laughs> you can't do it, man. Come on, I mean, man. I'm trying. I mean, she was nice, and I was, yeah, yeah. she was nice. She was Try nice harder, smart. man. You being and like I'm that, trying. man. What she believed in got her killed. Chris G says, "Ah, I first found your page when she was talking." <laughs> about that move, cricket, Kenesha Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Kanika Jenkins, man. I saw a video on Kanika Jenkins the other day. They're still making videos on her. You talk about an economy. Kanika Jenkins made a lot of people rich. I ain't even going to lie. I didn't, Is that the one that got caught I, in the freezer? Yeah. I didn't profit the way I should have because my channels kept getting deleted. That's back when, like, if y'all don't remember, if y'all if y'all have been around as long as Chris has been, my channels, I would wake up in the morning and my channel would just be gone. And this was back in the day in YouTube when they didn't tell you anything of why. They just, you just, you go to log in and the page will come up of the community guidelines and you'd have to go through and figure out which one. And I used to get flagged all the time. I'm talking about people used to literally come in my chat and tell me that I needed to be off YouTube. They had flag parties in my chat. They had people dedicated to getting me off of YouTube in 2017, 18, 19. So I didn't profit off of Kanika Jenkins the way other people did, but I broke the story. Because you know how I do. I go around the country and see all these little random stories that end up seeing. And a few days later, I saw seeing a lot of people was posting it. But I didn't I was the first one that um did a story on on YouTube. So 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 what happened to those people? Why aren't they still doing it? You know, well, Kanika Jenkins. No, like you know, people that are flagging you and all this kind of stuff. Oh, well, they. The, the, here's the thing. I don't know. YouTube kind of changed. Like back in those days, it was just like, I don't know. I don't know what changed. I, you know, I don't. I don't really know. But I know YouTube has changed a little bit. Like even now, like they'll give you. You can talk to somebody. Like there's a number you can call and say, "Hey, man, what happened to my page?" And they'll tell you. But back in those days, it was nothing. And you know what I'm saying, but those people, yeah, people hated me. I mean, and I had a and I had a much smaller audience. Like I'd have 20, 30 people in the fucking chat. And people was but my videos, my pre-recorded videos, I got a lot more, I got a lot of views on my pre-recorded videos. So like, you know what I'm saying, thousands, a couple thousand videos on my re or views on my pre-recorded videos. But yeah, man, the first couple of years on YouTube was hard, man. I'm talking about hard, Jack. They was on my ass, man. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you still like, you know, had the, uh, the, the, the determination to keep pushing. You know, I'm surprised you just like, man, fuck it, I'm done with this. That's, yeah, that's man. Hey, listen, man. Listen, man. I, it, it. You learn as as a, being a YouTuber, man, and and it's it's like a job. Once you realize it's like a career, like a profession. I got to shout out Tommy, man, because Tommy he kept coming back. Tommy was a guy, and they I mean they ultimately got rid of him, but Tommy was a guy that he would he had it way worse than I did. You know what I'm saying? Because he's just a bigger platform. He's famous. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Um, he he yeah, would I used to watch Tommy back. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, never, gone, he never skipped a beat. Huh? He he doesn't do YouTube anymore. He's off. No, he's playing, he's banned from YouTube. Yeah. He he banned from YouTube. Um Charleston White got banned today too. Charleston White is um was banned from YouTube today. Um wow. but um but yeah but, but yeah t Tommy he never he never missed a beat, he never complained, he just Start up a new channel and go back at it the next day, and that's what it, that 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 kind of inspired me. Seeing him like, you don't complain, man. You just keep going, man, because you gotta understand, like, none of those people are gonna flag a fucking like Tariq Nasheed, Doctor Umar, pro blacks and shit. People Willie D, people like that. They never get their channels flagged. They never yeah, lose a channel. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, even yeah. the fucking polite, the fucking guy who fucking molested the girl and got convicted, now he's doing seven years. His channel's still up. His YouTube channel's still up. Well, TYT like shouldn't be up. The Young Turks is Man. a terrible channel. The Young Turks, all that shit. 
So, yeah, I don't want to – let me digress. I'm digressing, but listen, man, it was rough the first couple of years on YouTube, man. I'm talking about you start from scratch. Like, when you start a new channel, you're starting from scratch. You're starting literally from one subscriber. And especially, like – and it's like people got to find you again. So it's like a lot of people, a lot of my crowd from the early years is different than the crowd now because I had so many channels that were taken down and I was small. I'm not famous like Tommy where everybody's going to type his name in to see where his new channel at. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about channels with 4,000 subs, 11,000 subs getting taken down. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like people... A lot of those people that was in, in my chat room earlier, the majority of them are not there anymore because I just kept getting taken down and kept getting taken down. And people got lives, man. Salute to um black conservative, man, coming through, man. Um, shout out to Katie. She says, you lie, you live by the sun, you die by the sun. Facts. <laughs> Chris G says, throwback op when he was sitting in his car. You're the truth. Just wear a suit and tie and some gym shorts and get a sexy white woman. <laughs> yeah, man. Facts, man. Facts, man. I, unfortunately, I, I'm married to a sister, man. So it's like, I'm a cool man. And you, in order to be pro-black, you got to be married to a white woman or a mulatto. Or well, some Latina, man. I'm married to a full black woman, man. And I'm the cool man. Um, but you know what? It is what it is, man. And I don't and I don't mind people being married interracial if you're not woke. If you if my problem is most people, most black people that are married to white people never have anything good to say about white people press one publicly publicly completely agree yep i know Definitely. i know these people on a personal level i know so many uh, <laughs> uh sun men that are married to gliders and all they do is talk shit about systemic racism white people doing this white people doing that and they will and and i know them for a long time and they never would touch a black woman with a 10-foot pole and it's always white. I don't get it. It's yeah. weird. It's the fact that white is it's, it's bullying and gaslighting. So it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of, you know, fuck you and eat shit in there. But it's also, um, it's also just overcompensating. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all they, their guilt for you know not you know marrying a black woman they're gonna make the rest of the world pay for it you know what i'm saying so it's like by, yeah. by um virtue signaling and shit like about how bad white people are and you know and how good white black people are black people never do anything wrong but if black people never do anything wrong why you ain't fucking married to one white people are so oppressive well the ceo of your fucking family's a white person. The only person besides you who has your fucking pin number to your credit card is a white person. The person who has the fucking code to your alarm system is a white person. So what the fuck are you talking about? I noticed that on a on a little bit lower level of Patels too, when they marry a glider, Patels for some reason. They get all extra Patel when they marry a glider. They'll 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 have the glider the woman wearing their <laughs> traditional dress. They'll all all of a sudden they'll start speaking the language. It's all broken and shit. They never spoke it before, but then they'll be speaking it all the time, and it's all it sounds so bad. And they, they they overcompensate on that too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Patels are. Uh... Patel's gonna be interesting because I don't know too much about Patel's like that, and I'm not gonna front. But what I'm seeing is that like they they're a hybrid race. They've already hybrid race. They're not like sons where we came here and became hybrid. Like y'all are already hybrid in your country, and so y'all the ones that are coming here are already hybrids. They're already mixed with Arab, mixed with Patel, 
I mean, mixed with um, you know, the East, the the the, the British. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already mixed up. So when y'all come over here, y'all not like the authentic Indians that you would see in India a thousand years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially some of the parts of it. Like if you're from the north part of the, if, if you're from the north part of India, you're like uh, less considered Indian. That like the South Indians will consider you not real Indians, right? In general, exactly. It would be like if every African was a fucking mulatto in, in Africa, right? Because in the South, man, there's Indians in the South. They are blacker than China oh, and Hansu. Yeah. Like they are black. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Black as hell, without a doubt. But their hair is not kinky, coily. So it's no. like their hair. Their but all hair you see is their eyeballs. Bone straight, teeth. right? Yep. yep. It, it's like bone straight, straighter than white people hair. It's like like a bamboo shoe. Jason Billingsley was released only seven years ago by then District Attorney Marilyn Mosby, according to the New York Post. He is now the prime suspect in the death of 26-year-old CEO Pavel Appear. The Baltimore community should be aware that this convicted felon has not been apprehended, is armed and dangerous, and is currently on the loose. Mm. She's the one that got. She's the one that got Adnan Syed out too. She's got what? Oh yeah, she's the one that I got did. Adnan Syed out. We did the Adnan Syed video. He's guilty of sin. The fact that people actually, <laughs> the fact that people actually believe that he's innocent, it just shows you how fucking green most people are. Like the, yes, just man. the fact that someone takes your case is enough for them to. To think that you're innocent, like, hey, it's this group saying he's innocent. Like, nah, man, fucking you guys guilty of sin. Um, this person says, to ask me if I'd met Pavel Marie Lapierre was to ask if I'd seen my own reflection. 